Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United. In today's episode we've got Liverpool at home in the Premier League who currently sit top of the table. We've also got our first domestic cup final against Manchester City in the Carabao Cup. Let's get to it. There's only been three games since our last episode, the first of which was a 1-0 home win against Bournemouth. Danny Olmo with the goal from central midfield in the 17th minute, giving us the three points. Next up was another home tie, this time against West Ham United, which we won 2-0. Haaland with a penalty in the second minute and Dodo with the goal in the 52nd minute. He returned from injury in this game and did pretty well. And finally, three home games on the bounce was against Southampton and we won this one once again, 1-0. Three clean sheets, which is nice to see. Sebastiano Esposito with the goal in the 42nd minute to give us the win in this one. And that sees the table looking like this. We've closed the gap on t in terms of the teams at the top. We're now 10 points clear from Wolves in 7th, currently sitting in 6th pretty comfortably. And I'm really, really happy with the change around in form. We had a rough period towards the back end of December and January. But uh, we've definitely turned it around now. I think it's four games in a row we've won. Four clean sheets in a row. And it sets us up nicely for today's episode where we will be playing Liverpool who are rocketing at the top of the league. Only two defeats this season, both against Arsenal. Um, three draws, we weren't one of them. So we got beat against them in the last, last time we played them. But we've got them at home today. We're in good form. Let's see how we get on. We've got pretty much a full strength side. No injuries or suspensions to speak of. So this is going to be the lineup: Jack Butland in goal, Bella Kotchap, Onjean and Kerra in the centre defenders role, Dodo and Pellegrini as our wing-backs, Renato Sanchez, Daniel Mo in the centre with Jean-Pierre in behind Haaland and Esposito. Liverpool come at us with a 4-1-2-3 formation, only a couple of signings really that I can recognise, Skriniar in the centre defence, Declan Rice in the defensive midfield and Chiesa on that right-hand side of the attack, otherwise it's a pretty much standard Liverpool side from the start of the game. It's going to be highly difficult. They're top of the league in good form. But hopefully if we can if we can perform at our very, very best, we might be able to get a result. Early highlight now, four minutes in. It's us giving the ball away, as we do in the in the defence. <laughs> that is an awful, awful goal to concede inside five minutes. Roberto Firmino with his seventh goal of the season, providing it. I think it's Kerra who ends up giving the ball away. We're just playing out the back, as I've told the players to do. And... Um, it's just awful. Really bad. Jack Bullen with a great first save, to be honest with you. He couldn't do anything about the second. And a disappointing way to go 1-0 down. Oh, I've missed this highlight. It was a corner. Danny Olmo takes it inside eight minutes. And Haaland gets his head on it for his 17th goal of the season to bring us level only five minutes after the first goal. Here it is here. Olmo with the corner. Oh, boredly absolutely buzzing with our set-piece goal. And we bring it level. 1-1. Another highlight now, 11 minutes in, it's Alexander-Arnold with a free kick for Liverpool. He goes for goal, hits the wall. Can we win the ball and counter, maybe? Bella Kotchap wins the ball on the right-hand side. He's driving forward, he likes to do this. He's done it, he does it every so often. Please pass it out. Please give it to somebody. Naby Keita brings him down in the box. That is surely a penalty, ref. Go on, consult your VAR. He has given the penalty. We've got an opportunity now to go 2-1 up. I think penalties are still broken on Football Manager. I can't remember the last time I scored one. But Haaland steps up. And the run continues. Another highlight now. Danny Olmo with the corner following that penalty save. Jean-Pierre goes for the goal and strikes it wide. Another highlight now. Alexander Arnold plays the ball in. We manage to get it clear. And Haaland can bring it under control and drive forward for us down this right-hand side. Gets dispossessed though by Skriniar. Now Liverpool have got an opportunity to counter. We're pretty highly pressed. So any ball over the top could cause us some problems if there's no offside. And there it is there. Joe Gomez finds Chiesa on that right-hand side. He gets past his man, but Jack Butland does an excellent job and gets the save in. Another highlight now. Ronaldo Sanchez finds Danny Olmo in the centre of the pitch and he gives the ball away to Sadio Mane and Liverpool can break once again. But again, we're caught on the counter. Chiesa coming down the right-hand side. Jack Butland with the save again. Pellegrini does just enough to put him off. And it's causing us issues, these individual errors. Dodo, our right wing back's just returned from injury and he's injured again. George Baldock's going to have to come on on that right hand side. Another highlight now, Baldock only freshly on, 25 minutes in, switches the pair to Pellegrini on the left hand side. He doesn't get past his man but he eventually does and then he goes for goal as he tends to do from the byline. The first half has been highlight filled, we're only 28 minutes in and there is another one. It's Liverpool who are currently in possession with Naby Keita. Having played it around their defence and not giving the ball away. 
and Trent Alexander-Arnold finds it on the right hand side and drives on uh, Luca Pellegrini, cuts back, finds Firmino in the box and that is an absolutely great goal but is it going to be given offside? Give it offside, offside, thank God for that. Only seven minutes to go in the first half. We're playing it about in the defence once again. Thankfully, Bella Kotchap doesn't give the ball away and we can drive ourselves forward with the Luca Pellegrini. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. I've got shoot less often on them. They just don't listen. And there we have it for half time. A pretty even game in terms of highlights. Liverpool are definitely dominating the match stats though. So we're going to have to be careful going into the second half. Kera's having a nightmare game in centre back. Come on, just keep at least a 6.1. <laughs> First highlight of the second half, 52 minutes in, Skriniar plays the ball over the top, Kerrer, don't make another mistake, he doesn't this time. We get dispossessed in the middle of the park by Naby Keita and Liverpool once again can play it around the midfield, Firmino, what a great pass that was, the defender couldn't get her, Trent Alexander-Arnold gets to the byline, he goes for goal as well, he clearly is not listening to his manager's instructions either, but Jack Butland with a decent save to keep him out, Robertson picks up the ball on the left hand side, great challenge by Renato Sanchez. I thought it was a penalty there. Thank God it wasn't. Only 25 minutes to go in this match. We've got to throw in, in an advanced position. Luca Pellegrini gets the ball back, whips it in. It's cleared by Joe Gomez and now Lotero Martinez can clear for Liverpool and Sadio Mane can break. They've got so many options on that right hand side. And he, he shoots it at least 10 yards wide of the goal. That was awful. Another change we're going to bring on Ender Stevens for Luca Pellegrini, who's really struggling out there in the left wing back role he must have picked up a, a slight knock that wasn't classed as an injury but definitely something that will affect his match conditioning Keita plays the ball in for a corner Jack Butland with another decent save he has performed brilliantly so far in this match to keep us at only a one goal um, Liverpool only at one goal the highlight does continue though Alexander Arnold finds Naby Keita in the box Divock Origi goes for goal he hits the post oh my god somebody please no Sadio Mane we had so many opportunities to get rid. Jack Butland was jumping and snatching out there. He couldn't find it either. That's Sadio Mane's 19th goal of the season. We'll see this again in the replay. That was devastating. Trent Alexander-Arnold with the ball in. Navi Keita gets dispossessed. Divock Origi goes for goal. Hits the post. It bounces up. What physics is that? I'm not even sure. Uh, the post's clearly got a divot in it to be able to do that. But there we are. Liverpool 2-1. Going to make our final substitute of the game. Danny Olmo is going to come off for Oliver Norwood for the last 10 minutes. See if he can make any difference in the centre of midfield. Nine minutes to go. Ender Stevens driving down the left-hand side for us. He plays the ball in. Jean-Pierre is there for his 17th goal of the season. There's no claims for offside. We've managed to draw things level. We're going to go to a balanced team mentality for the last eight minutes. I've only just realised I've been on, attack on attacking this entire time. Um, but yeah, great, great stuff by Inder Stevens as a substitute coming on for Pellegrini. And Jean-Pierre dives at this ball, making sure it's going in. Takes out Holland while he's doing it. I don't care. 2-2. Two, two. One minute to go in this match. The final highlight. Inder Stevens finds Esposito at the back post. I was hoping for a last minute goal to bring us the win. It doesn't look like it's going to be likely though. And there we have it. Full time. Sheffield United 2. Liverpool 2. Not a bad performance and certainly not a bad result. We did miss a penalty, which is a little bit disappointing with Jack Butland, as you can see. Had a great game of 7.1 and made a numerous amount of saves to keep Liverpool at beer. So maybe we should be glad for the result. I still can't help but feel a little bit disappointed not to continue the winning run. But that point sees us still remain in sixth position on 54 points. Only a point behind Manchester City now, who have just been defeated by Arsenal. And that's who we've got next in the League Cup final, so I'll see you there. Well, that's the end of Dodo's season. He's going to go to a specialist for four to five months with a broken angle. That's disappointing. He's been a great player for us this season, but um, that's the season over. Before we get to the League Cup final, we have our Europa League a second round knockout draw to do. Some interesting teams coming out of the Champions League, no doubt. The likes of Chelsea. Um, anyone else? Nobody else springs to mind who might have definitely been in the Champions League. But anyway... Let's draw the next team and see where things fall. Lazio versus Frankfurt. Real Sociedad versus Dynamo Moscow. Chelsea versus AC Milan shall be a tasty tie. Dynamo Kiev versus Roma. Salzburg versus Braga. Fanabache versus Bayer Leverkusen. So there's only four, t four teams left. Red Bull Leipzig Bilbao. I'd like to avoid if all possible. Sheffield United against Red Bull Leipzig. That is a little bit disappointing. Red Bull Leipzig. Absolutely got some fantastic, fantastic players, none of which is Rodrigo on loan from Real Madrid. Um, have they still got the likes of Timo Werner? They do. He's unhappy. Transfer listed by request. I wonder if he wants to join Sheffield United. 
But um, yeah, they've got a great side. U Uberman, Kano and Konati and centre-back are both fantastic players. We're going to be really struggle to break them down in the defence. That's probably one of the worst draws we could have gotten, honestly. But hey-ho, we've got to make the most out of it. We've already surpassed our season expectations in the Europa League. I think they just wanted us to be competitive in the group stage, which of course we've done and qualified for the second knockout round. So whatever happens beyond this point of bonus. But yeah, a little bit disappointing to get Red Bull Leipzig. Here we go, our first final of this save. It's a big one against Manchester City League Cup final. Maybe five years down the line, I won't care about the League Cup or the board one, but at least for now, getting our first piece of silverware will be lovely. It's unlikely to happen against Manchester City. Looking at our previous record, they have won four of the last six meetings with one draw and one win for us. Um, so it's going to have to be a big result and probably them being a little bit out of form might help after getting beat by Arsenal in the last game, but we'll have to wait and see. In terms of the team selection, I think everybody is fit. No, they're not. Renato Sanchez is currently suspended and, of course, Dodo's injured. So, George Baldock comes in at right wing back. And um, Oliver Norwood comes in in the centre midfield role to replace uh, Renato Sanchez. But, yeah, it's a little bit disappointing to lose two key players. Sanchez, in particular, in the centre of midfield has done pretty well for me this season. I've been happy with what he's con contributed so far. But, um, let's get into the game. So Man City mirror the formation used by Liverpool in the last game. Got the, still got the likes of Leroy Sané, De Bruyne, Phil Foden, uh, Fiorentino, Luisa, who of course they've signed. I'm not sure who Rodgers is. Uh, Morgan, Ro I mean, they're playing some youngsters. Uh, they've got Bernardo Silva, Porro on a uh, right back. He looks decent, but not amazing by any means. Um, Will Wilson Esbrand, a 19-year-old at left back. Connor Cordy, I mean, why have they got Connor Cordy? I have no idea. When did they sign him? Two years ago for 18 mil. I mean, they've got a pretty weak side. Uh, Stefan's good. He's a decent keeper. Um, but yeah, decent side. But so definitely some glare and weaknesses in there. Maybe, just maybe, we can take advantage. Ten minutes in, we get our first highlight. A ball given away by a throw-in from us. But we do retain possession with Danny Olmo in the centre. He finds Baldock in a pocket of space on the right-hand side. Who plays it back to Oliver Norwood. Danny Olmo. Where's the, where, where is the man? Pellegrini's cut a little bit too much inside there. Could have offered himself out wide. And we would have had an opportunity. But Danny Olmo finds George Baldock. Who hits the woodwork. And it gets, gets cleared by Man City. Good, good first chance for us. Another highlight now. Danny Olmo once again driving past the Manchester City midfield and defence. Gets to the byline. And goes for goal. Which, of course, hits the side net because it's such a tight angle. Why, or oh why does that happen? First highlight of the game that'll probably go Manchester City's way. Leroy Sané drives forward and finds Bernardo Silva on the right-hand side. Goes for goal with his stronger foot. Probably would have been better to use his weaker foot there as Jack Butland has a comfortable save in the end. Another highlight now. Another attack for Man City. Bernardo Silva once again. Jack Butland with a decent save. It's, uh, it's all Man City at the minute. 40 minutes in, there is another highlight, and it's Man City playing it about well in the midfield and finding Leroy Sani at the end of it. Goes for goal, Jack Butland with a decent save. Only 30, sec 30 seconds to go in the first half, and there is going to be another highlight. Luca Pellegrini receives the ball from Danny Olmo and goes for goal. I wish me wingbacks would stop shooting. I know they've scored some goals, which is great, but the amount of times they've hit the woodwork or hit the side netting or just really wasted a good attacking opportunity. We had about three or four men arriving in the box there if he'd managed to get the cross in but anyway that's the end of the first half Manchester United, Manchester City nil Sheffield United nil let's kick off with the second and it was a decent performance by us in the first half we're obviously not getting the goals a little bit disappointing Jack Butland's doing well in goal for us to keep them out but um, you never know how the second half might go Danny Olmo plays the ball in Haaland with the header at the back post is cleared by Manchester City that couldn't have been the highlight surely Surely something else is going to happen here with Jean-Pierre on the ball. Man City are pushing out with Manchester to chip the ball at the back post in behind. Nah, highlights over. Another highlight now. It's going to be a free kick this time by Oliver Norwood on the edge of the box. He takes a strike. He goes for goal. What a save that was by the keeper. But we managed to get the goal in. Please say that wasn't offside. I don't think it was. It is counting. Oh, it's not counting. It's offside. Never mind. Only 10 minutes to go of regular time. In the League Cup final, George Baldock receives the ball on the right-hand side and does his man, and he's aware. Come on, lad, please, do, do not shoot, do not shoot. He shoots, he shoots. I haven't even made any subs. Five minutes to go 
in the rest of this match. We'll look to make our subs during extra time. Uh, nil nil. A little bit surprising that it's nil nil. Two teams who score quite a few goals, but uh, yeah, let's kick off for that extra time. We are going to make our three subs. George Baldock really struggling out there, and we haven't got the man to replace him. We're going to get Ender Stevens on at right wing back and Luke Freeman on at left wing back. That severely weakens our side, and we're going to get Haaland off at Alexander Isaac as well. It's a it's tough tough calls to make when you haven't got the strength and depth. But there is another highlight, three minutes in extra time, and it ends up going Man City's way. Sergio Aguero's come on up front. That's just not ideal whatsoever. We get across the one, Ender Stevens manages to get the block in. Or oh, they've set him away again, though, with the ball over the top of the defence this time. He gets to the byline, and he strikes as well. Oh, wait, football manager, man, sort this out. Oh, Eric Garcia comes on for Man City and gets himself sent off shortly after. They are now down to 10 men. And we have to make our... Please don't go to penalties. We don't score penalties. There we are. Second half of extra time. We're going to go We're going to go very attacking for the last 10 minutes or so. Try and make our extra man count. Can we make another substitute? Get... Uh, or do I really want to take Danny Olmo off though if it's going to go to penalties? Uh, yes, I do. He's only got 10 penalties. So we'll get John Fleck on if we can, which we can. Um, five minutes... Just one little highlight to maybe get me hopes up just a little bit. No, nope. straight up penalties. Auto pick, penalties. However, right then, boys, let's see what we can do. Can we get the first cup of our save with Sheffield United? Esposito takes the first penalty and knocks it down the middle, which beats the keeper. Sergio Aguero with the first one for Manchester City. He steps up. Jack Butlin's looking pumped. Not that pumped. Sergio Aguero slides it in easily and levels things up at 1-1. One, one. John Fleck steps up to take our second of the game. Come on, John. Come on. He does manage to beat the keeper just about. That was pretty close. Eike Gundogan steps up for Manchester City for their second penalty. Come on, Jack. Do the business. Go on. You went the right way. I thought he had it. I was ready to celebrate. But it slots past the keeper just about. Alexander Isaac, who came on for Haaland in extra time, steps up and buries a penalty. That was an absolutely fantastic one. That puts us 3-2 up. Put the pressure back on. Doyle steps up for Manchester City. I don't even know who Doyle is. Come on, Jack. Oh, Jack, 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 Jack. He keeps going the right way, but he's not getting his hand to it. Uh, Jean-Pierre steps up for the fourth penalty for Sheffield United. Come on, John. Don't, don't do this to me. He scores. He scores. He makes a 4-3. Come on, boys. Jack Butland against Laporte here. Come on. If Please save this. And then if we score, we've won. Come on, Jack. Laporte steps up. He goes the right way again, but doesn't manage to get the save. Manchester City level things up at 4-4. No missed penalties so far. Oliver Norwood, don't miss this one. Bury this, please, mate. Oh, he's missed. He's went wide. Oliver Norwood. Ah. Oh. No, not the last penalty. Jack, we'll need you now more than ever. Florentino Luis steps up for Manchester City. It's a slow walk up. I mean, now we're FM. Just skip this bit, will you? Just put us out of my misery. Florentino Luis has the final penalty of the game. If he scores this, Manchester City are going to take the League Cup trophy home with them. Jack Butland can't get the save. He goes the right way again, but it's not enough. Manchester City 5, Sheffield United 4. I'm not watching this. Get off my screen. There it is. Nil-nil after extra time. Defeated on penalties as I feared. Uh, we did. We had some decent penalty takers there. Uh, we really did well until Oliver Norwood stepped up for the final penalty of the game. And that was it. We've lost the League Cup final. I mean, it was good to get there. So first time making a domestic cup final. The board will be pleased with that when it comes to our rating at the end of the season. But it really would have been nice to get our first trophy. Looking forward to our next episode. It will be both legs against Red Bull Leipzig in the Europa League. A second knockout round. Only a couple of games in between. So we should be there quite quickly. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.